I'm doing great. Tell me, what are we about to do? We're about to skydive, man. First time. My God, man. Before we head out here, bro. All right, bet, bet, bet. That was a very successful ride. We're wrapping it up, we're back at the crib. Y'all, I need your recommendation. This baby needs a name. I think my girl gave one already. I don't remember what it is. What y'all think we should call her? She's a little dirty, but for y'all, all of y'all that are interested, she's a 94 Sportster 1200. Man, you can see it's got a lot of work to do, a lot of wires unfinished i need to wire these turn signals uh i rebuilt the carbs got a fancy harness from another bike and you can see here i've been jerry rigging some stuff it actually started dragging while we were riding so i took a bit of a chain link fence and put that in there appreciate to my buddies helping out it's got some rust you can see in some of the shocks and bolts and things like that but she rides well she's loud she's fun but yeah it was just the first part of the weekend we got some more stuff coming tomorrow. I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Just to talk to y'all real quick, man. The reason that I ride or do things outside of my job, man, is if you don't have something outside of work, and work becomes your life, if your work is stressful, your life will be stressful. If work ain't going the way you want it to, you'll feel like your life ain't going the way you want it to, you know? So it's great, if not just good, to have a hobby, something that you enjoy doing. That's good for you too. You know, I wouldn't recommend some hobbies, but most people wouldn't recommend mine either. So, yeah, that's my little word for the day. So get out there, enjoy your weekend, have fun. This is 4th of July weekend holiday we got a four-day weekend you know we had to take advantage of it and y'all see what we got coming up peace kevin. kevin how are you doing today man i'm doing good how about yourself i'm doing great tell me what are we about to do about to skydive man first time my god man uh, you're going to jump from 18,000 feet today yeah why would you do that Andre, so nice to meet where's you, morrison at you get him in the first picture time. you got us to all go <laughs> yeah on my card i wrote down to remember that fear is just a feeling That's Damn cool, bro, man. Yeah. Good. all right you ready I am.
right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys have seen the few clips that I showed before, I got my sister Chris with me. But we're on a little run through my city. I went back home. So we're in Richmond, Virginia, giving y'all some of the sights. But I want to show y'all this, a little bit of history. If y'all know that uh, Richmond was the capital of the Confederacy during the Civil War, right? So there's a lot of history and all that. And you can just see through the river. But as we cross this bridge, I'm going to turn the camera. This sign here, right over the bridge, it says, some of the most dramatic events in Richmond's history occurring, occurred during the three days of April, 1865, when the city fell to the Union Army after four years of civil war, all right? So I'm not a historian, but from what I remember correctly, after the civil war, the Confederacy or the Union, I don't remember which one, kind of burned the city to the ground. So there's a lot of old history here. You can see through the bridges and the train tracks, cannons in the background. The Civil War Museum is right down this way. There's a lot of history, but it's not complete. We finished that up. How many miles do you think that was? Three. Three. We didn't. We weren't keeping track. We were just out here having a good time. But if y'all didn't know, we're from Richmond, Virginia, the 804, the four, the rich. That's where we're from. It's always great to be back home. A lot has changed. Look at all these buildings behind me. It's a real nice looking area now. Whew. We're in the heart of downtown. I'm really from like suburbs. I'm out there a little while, but. I lived down here for a few years. Always great to come back. I'm on leave, so hey, gotta come visit the fam. Remember where you came from. You never have to feel obliged. You know, a lot of people say, uh, have your folks, uh, not the folks, but people you're close to, make the effort to see you too. You know, don't kill yourself spending junior enlisted money on a whole bunch of planes because if you don't have to, you know, yeah. Let's say bye. All right, man. We're gonna stretch out, rest up. We'll see y'all. Peace.